Welcome back. More railgun on our plate, and as we saw, a delicious meal being served up. Of course, canned mackerel is uh, a true delicacy, at least to some. But exactly how many more can they have, especially when they're being hunted down? I'm hesitant to find out, but let's get into it. You see, anyone could be having such a peaceful conversation about what they would want to be uh, eating for the night. And then anyone can come up behind you with... Uh... Oh, the music kicked in. Straight into action. I mean, to be fair, it... It was, uh... At least not a terrible wound, but... Not really trying to stay hidden, are you? I mean, anyone that witnesses witness that, you just like, did you just, did you just eat something off the floor? Well, this is a friend that we're talking about, so. If she can lead her to anywhere that uh, is a little out the way, I'm sure she'll have that battle and interest that uh, she's wishing for. But considering that we've just had uh, a new friendship arise, how is it going to... be affected if with like an assassination attempt? Being attacked on all sides, having a, a sniper appear. Not usually what you would imagine of just going to buy groceries and the like. At least now I think we will be seeing a relatively good back and forth. Especially, like, since it's a uh, hunter and the hunted situation. We don't know who the assailant is. All, uh, all, they, all they know is that they've got a projectile sniper. We don't entirely know, but yep, that's blending in uh, perfectly, not being able to be tracked down. So, yeah, if you're trying to... okay. Is it... What caliber rounds is it? Well, apart from unless anyone just looks up and sees someone outstretched with their arms. To be fair, aiming that kind of attack would also be slightly... slightly difficult, but once you're used to it, I mean, not necessarily, but also, uh, you wouldn't really want to put them into into it, put anyone into a danger. The silent. Thanks for that. And then ones that actually track them. To, yes, that one. Well, because, well, A, 
because she is too and she can sense it, but also B, she's still alive and fleeing. We're seeing previous targets. And of course this week... It would seem like some performance art until people actually realise what's going on. So, as long as you kind of play along, yeah. She knows exactly how to play against herself, so having someone else that is of the same ilk quickly changing clothes. Um it could have just been a passerby. Um just has a big bag followed you around and the, the the links are there and just go for ups <laughs> just to make sure Having some sort of hunter vision would actually be uh, quite useful. And we've seen it over and over again in certain video games. Now we have uh, the teacher who really hasn't appeared much at all. Oh, God damn it. Now he's been... How does it rip from there? Now he's been trapped and used again. He's really not having a good day, is he? Yeah, apparently not. I mean, that kind of shot, if you're aiming for the year, is kind of impressive, but... Three cards and a scientist. I'm surprised he can just carry him with one arm. Something tells me they're not being too uh, genuine about that. And since Well, has she told Satin about all of the, the stuff out loud? Plus, Frender is the only one being being shot here. She's Caught up pretty quickly for not running. Oh no! Saved by classmates! What are you here doing here? I thought you said you had something. Or what if they ignore you completely because they don't realise you're standing there? You have so such little of a presence, you know. Part of the art of being mm, a hunter. <laughs> but damn, it's annoying. <laughs> I 
I like the interaction of life and the mission there coming into in, into play. Well, I mean, you're immu assuming that uh, she would be the bait. And the fact that she came up with the idea herself. So while they are... Well... Well, do you think that... Uh, Saturn will immediately just give up any information. I mean, give her something to fend her off with. She'll be fine. <laughs> Bordering on stupidity, that could uh, define quite a few characters. Now she's got something else up her sleeve, a new way of uh, tackling it other than just running about and laying some traps. Okay, is she going to what, have Saturn out in the open when she appears? Do something about it. Hmm. So they could have... Uh you could have put down some stuff in that time, come up with some counter movements. Hey, what was that just then? I thought I saw Saturn carrying something. Was that almost a bland loner? Is that what she was about to say? Ah, uh, she was carrying something. Oh. She put her as a walking... I mean... <laughs> She's really painting a picture of Render, isn't she? I mean, mass collateral damage is one way to mix. Yeah. Tick, tick, tick. God. Saturn, you're such a klutz. You're dropping so many of them. And now that it's a close-ish range battle, she knows what she looks like. We're getting into hand-to-hand -to -hand combat now. So trying to take cover behind the pillar. Well, who was that uh, worrying about collateral damage and the uh, getting innocence in the way? If she's just blindly firing those off. And if it doesn't... Uh...
she has her own ways, and especially getting the entire crowd to uh, evacuate means that some of the shops are going to be, well, claiming insurance soon. Well then, she has to return, doesn't she? Ooh, tricky! She's not one to fight fair and the like. I mean, if it's a last resort... Ah. So if she is horribly wounded, her movements reduced. Still capable of something like that, though. Maybe rather than gloating... Shoot. <laughs> this is why you lo you will lose. Okay. Click. She's been laying them out the entire time while running around. How exactly? Was that why it's safer down on the floor as well? Yes, which means that you'll be over by the window, no? Oh! Well! Unless you can get rid of them quickly. Hot the bra. She's gonna need some dental work. Jesus, though. Stuffing ordnance into someone's mouth and exploding it. I mean, we've seen some things, but... Seeing Frenda be so, uh... Conclusive. Put under surveillance. Make sure that, uh... Yeah, no one else is currently after her. Oh no, having to have a bodyguard from a member of judgment. Since everyone was cleared out beforehand, everything worked out for the for the better, I, I think. I mean, there might not have been anything inside the mall, but uh, outside on the pavement? Did anyone check there? <laughs> She's standing outside. Ah. Good thing to know that uh, a friend that you've made is... That someone sitting there I did not expect to see. Ah. Uh. She had a bit of a Darth Vader treatment. Although I'd turned down the voice modulator a little. 
having her jaw blown off, having to have uh, several alterations, losing an eye. It's not anger, is it? Is it uh, extreme infatuation? Y yeah. Having, you know. Well, I guess, yeah, you would. Uh, Why did he draw? Ah, okay. Traumatized. <laughs> I guess they're not uh, treated very kindly if they to go against orders or question things too much. A friend has really reached out and made a lot of new acquaintances recently, hasn't she? Well, that sounds great. I kind of like that clock. A little ostentatious, but... Uh... Ah, no response. Ah, no! She's killing herself before she's there. Open your eyes. Uriharu? <laughs> I came in to report. Nothing to report. Great. I can't remember the incident that took place that uh, made her injured like that. But also, considering... Well, you know how, how it goes. It is a friendship that you would kind of wish to... That would uh, go well, but... Uh, she can't exactly be in two places at once. We have that uh, other group. We've got to, uh, the sniper receiving. If it wasn't in Academy City, life changing injuries. But being able to survive not only the fall, but the shock away from those bombs being directly next to your face. And in that point, in it. I kind of understand, really, quite, you know, you know well, pfft. I remember when people were saying about Frienda being a character where they build her up and make her someone, that you, a character that you actually really like, just to remind you uh, exactly how things played out before that we, we know about. So chronologically, oh crap. But that... <sighs> You're having a... A promise to keep that can't be kept. Uh, one of the really bad things about it is that uh, Saturn... I don't know if she ever really found out. So not having any closure as to what went on, why they've just been ghosted. But that entire confrontation there in the mall... Quite well done. Of course, apart from leaving behind the uh, explosive booby traps down a random aisle in case anyone walks down there. And considering it was 
look to be like a lot of other dolls and stuff. Hmm. Who would go down aisles with lots of toys? But the on-the-spot thinking, the way to get away from the hunter, get around what's uh, going on, quite well done. Of course, the tracking seems a bit... a bit... well, I'd like to know how it actually works, what's lingering in the air and how she's able to ca calculate it. But if that's her ability and has complemented it with the like, assassination and the sniper hidden underneath her clothes... Actually, quite a good, uh, good way to balance it all out, trying to be actually useful. And considering the um, the hunters change, there's going to be a few people that are disappointed in the recent events with, uh, you know, that surround surround the one that they've everyone kind of has gravitated to, not being able to attend a meal, not being able to hunt her down, or have another battle with close ties like this. Before it was already somewhat upsetting, you know, having a, a character like that you know, just due to circumstance caught in the middle of it and torn down. But now actually fleshing them out a bit, making them someone that uh, was amusing to see. And considering we know kind of some plans were going on and now the, the time frame of when all this is and that all of it was going down while coinciding with this Indian poker stuff and the missing scientists but putting their souls or whatever inside of cards what was it that was saying trying to preserve themselves I mean, part of the reason why they're so adamant on collecting both the cards and anyone that may have knowledge Seeing how this all plays out, where it all really unfolds too, is going to be slightly interesting, I think. Especially since we had that one from the dream. Really quite curious to see more of that, especially since the, uh, the opening shows some interesting visuals. But I guess it is with a heavy heart, that I have to say that's all of it, all we have for the week. You'll have to come back for some more Railgun next time. But if you enjoyed this one, let me know. If you leave a like on the video, maybe even a comment, really helps me out. If you want to do a bit more, consider sharing it around, maybe even subscribe. It's completely free. You can cancel whenever you want, gets you more videos that you won't miss. But for now, get yourselves a bit of rest. See you in the next one. My patrons really are the reason why there's no meal I can miss. So I need to thank those that are Electricant, Naku, Raywin, Kite, Sal, Arthia, Dark Shadow, 7899, Shiwan, Mats, Gurley, Cardboard, Croyville, Megu42, and everyone else. Because, well... With the support they give, we don't have to put any shopping malls or pedestrians, various bystanders and innocents in harm's way, or creepy exploding dolls. But really, thank you.